<laughs> Hi, I'm Kerry Lord, and I'm going to teach you how to make a really basic and fast crochet bobble for your Christmas tree. So I'm going to use a chunky yarn, so it'll make up nice and thick, and an eight millimeter hook. You're going to start by tying a slip knot, as most crochet and knit projects would begin. And for this technique, just make sure that when you've tied your slip knot, it's the tail end of the yarn that's closing and controlling that hole. Pop that on your hook and chain two stitches. Then the only stitch we're going to use is going to be the double crochet stitch. Um, we're going to do six of those into that hole there that you've just made. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then pull that slip knot tight to give you a tight circle to start the project. What we're going to do next is we're going to work two double crochet stitches into each of those six to end up with 12. So when we work a stitch, we're going to go right beneath the whole V, so put your hook in right the way through the whole V, yarn over to this point where you've got two loops and across, so just a normal double crochet, back into the same hole to work a second one, then on to the next stitch. So put two more in that one, that's forming stitch three and four, onto the next one. We're going to do stitch five and six, onto the next one, and do seven and eight. Then the next one will form nine and ten, and then finally the eleven and twelve. And while you're doing this style of increasing, you're creating a flat circle um, of crochet fabric. Once we move to just doing one stitch into every stitch, it will become 3D. So you see we've got a neat circle. What we're going to do next is continue to increase one more round up to 18. So we're going to put one into the first stitch and then do an increase again into the second stitch. So two stitches in there. So that's two, three, then four on its own. And then five, six into the next one. Five, six, then seven and eight and nine, then 10 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And basically the size that you want to make your bauble that's the number of stitches that you'll work up to in the circle increasing until you just um, work one stitch into every hole. So once you've got it to this point, we're now going to run round, and I'd say do maybe three rounds, just putting one stitch into every stitch, and this will start to make it 3D. And you could use any yarn to make a bauble like this. It doesn't need to be a chunky yarn. You could even go for, say, a glitzy yarn, with maybe with a metallic yarn, um, and just use exactly the same theory. If you do the increasing, start with that six, move up to 12, then move up to 18. To do your next round, if you were going to make a big one, um, you'd do one into one stitch, one into the next stitch, and then an increase into that third stitch, and that would move you up to 24. So basically, using any yarn and any size crochet hook, you could make any size of bauble. So as soon as I've started just to put one into every stitch, you can see it forms a cup shape immediately. And that's just with me doing one round around there at the moment. So you'd continue for a couple more rounds, three or four, I would say, before we do the decreasing. It makes a really nice gift for somebody to put on their tree. And it, as you can see, it's really quick. So it's uh, a nice one to make as present gifting. Another way that I've seen people use them is when you tie someone's main present is that they use these on the outside. So when you finish your parcel off, you can just make a nice bauble and attach that to the outside of the packaging. Keep going a little bit longer. So what we're going to do then, once we've done a few rounds, one in each, is we're going to do decrease. So the opposite of putting two stitches into each stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to take two halves of two stitches and turn it back to one stitch. So a decrease, a double crochet two together. And the method that I'm going to show you will be invisible. So actually, in theory, when you've finished it, you won't know which end you've started or which end you've finished. So there we go. 
um, you've got a full cup shape. So we're going to do some decreasing. So we're going to do one stitch into the next stitch and then a decrease. So come up the middle of the next stitch, down and up the middle of the one that follows it to the point where you've got two halves. Yarn over and through the middle and yarn over and through the two loops. So I'll do that again, a normal stitch in between and then up through the middle, through the middle, yarn over and through the two loops. Normal one again, this is the third repeat. So that's three decreases, normal one, then the fourth decrease, normal one and the fifth decrease, normal one and then the sixth decrease. And the nice thing is uh, this last round here, so you've got you're back down to 12 now. We're now going to double crochet each of those 12 together to go back down to six. One. Let me just put that there. And what you want to do at this stage is you want to grab some stuffing and just pop some stuffing into the bauble. There we go. So I just need to grab some stuffing. There we go. Pop that in. So pop your stuffing in like that. Then simply snip your yarn. Take a sewing up needle. And you're just going to gather the stitches together. across the top, just do a running stitch in and out through those stitches to close it in neatly. There we go. Then leave yourself a little piece of yarn that will hang on the tree. As long as you want, depends on uh, how thick the branches on your tree are. There we go. Back down through. Snip that off, and that's the perfect little crochet sphere for your Christmas tree. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a very Merry Christmas.